This is Jane. Hurry, Jill. We're going to be late. And that is Jill. <laughs> They're the best of friends and partners in the food lab, too. Today, we'll watch how they whip up a feast. This is our favorite lesson. That's because I always clean up after you. Well, the lab is a place for cooking adventures, but only if you practice safety first. Before we start, in case of an emergency, this is our plan of escape. Note where the fire extinguishers are. Alert the teacher about the fire. Then evacuate to the assigned assembly area. Clear? Clear. Now let's begin. Yay! First, wear a clean apron. Or you might contaminate the food. Then store your stools neatly, or someone might trip. Tie your hair and pin up your long fringe. You don't want your hair to catch fire or have hair in your food. Oh. Keep fingernails trimmed and clean. And remember the golden rule? Um, always wash your hands with soap before cooking. And the first in, first out rule? Um, use ingredients closer to the expiry date first. Now, you're ready to cook up a storm. Please, please handle sharp objects with care. Peel the food away from you. Watch out for your fingers when using knives. And stop using the grater when food gets too small. Watch the stove when cooking. And turn it off before you go. Keep raw food and ready-to-eat food apart. Use separate chopping boards too. Leave the oven door ajar during grilling so it won't overheat. Before frying, dry all cooking utensils and the food for fry. When frying, slide food gently into hot oil. Alright, kebabs are grilling, fish is frying. And now for the last dish, dessert! If an electrical appliance is faulty, Inform the teacher and do not use it. It's dangerous. It's also dangerous to operate appliances with wet hands. Your hands are precious. So keep them out of the mixing bowl. And wear oven gloves when you take food out of the oven. Ah. The muffins are baked. Make sure they are thoroughly cooked. Always use tea towels to handle hot pots and pans. Mm. Don't double dip when tasting food. Even if it tastes so good. If you spill something, clean it up immediately. Finally, Turn off the gas supply at your workstation and clear the trash. And that's how you stay safe and cook well in a food lab. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> <laughs>